it is literally gliding right now gliding what a joy what a joy to ride this motorcycle <laughs> is it too good to be true <laughs> sometimes i wonder <laughs> have i found my perfect motorcycle that i was looking for you know what i can do i can do teddy to go on this motorcycle non stop okay cruising at 110 kmph easily 120 gazi about to haidwar in 3 hour 40 minutes pretty good speed huh and this includes uh, 20 25 minutes of break that i took to fly my drone from gaziabad to rishikesh in 4 hours 30 minutes not bad <laughs> Welcome to my YouTube channel The Riding Saga. This is Sam. I hope you all are doing great. So both I and my CB350 as you can see are ready for our next adventure and we are heading towards a beautiful destination in Uttarakhand which is also known as the mini Switzerland of India. Yes guys, you are right. We are heading towards Chopta. and uh, i'm expected to witness snowfall there guys if not snowfall at least snow because uh, uh, it's a winter wonderland and uh, i have been there once in 2020 and it's an amazing place and uh, as you can see my cb350 is all ready fully loaded with two panniers one tail bag and all the necessary accessories that one should have on a motorcycle for a trip like this and it's looking incredible isn't it so beautiful so let's start our trip it's already 8:15 in the morning and uh, i should reach chopta before sunset to avoid black ice okay friends so i have started my journey so as you can see uh, in the strip meter this bike has been ridden for 3000 kilometers and uh, so far my experience on this motorcycle has been wonderful uh, it's a pure joy to ride this motorcycle friends and uh, that's why i was very excited for this trip according to google maps i should reach chopta in 8 hour 22 minutes by 4 by 5 pm so and it's 357 kilometers from here guys so uh, my uh, plan would be to reach chopta before sunset because you know i had a word with a few campsites in chopta and they told me that uh, uh, riding uh, would not be safe after sunset because of black ice and the road becomes uh, too slippery to ride guys and uh, but it's relatively safe before sunset all right so uh, i'll try to reach there by 5 pm uh, i wanted to start early today you know before sunrise <laughs> but you know i always try that but it it never materializes i love my sleep <laughs> uh if you had noticed in my uh, previous trip to manali uh, i had installed uh, bajaj avengers uh, mirrors on this motorcycle guys and uh, so what happened somebody just you know damaged my left hand mirror so i had to install the stock ones and that's okay after returning from this trip i will again purchase bajaj avengers mirrors and 
use them because uh, they give a better visibility as compared to these see how butter smooth it is right now at the speed of 90 it is literally gliding right now gliding you know there is no effort from my end it reaches 100 kmph in the blink of an eye and you can constantly cruise at this speed because there is no stress on the engine again we will be taking the upper Ganga Canal Road Jai Ganga Mia. Listen to the sound Listen to the sound this machine is making Again Okay, let me slow it down uh, Now listen Pat, 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 pat <laughs> Beautiful Look at this view So soothing. Okay. You know, I take my own sweet time while riding. If I like a place, I'll, I'll just stop for a moment. What's the hurry? Okay. Okay, friends. So, you know what? Uh, the more I ride this motorcycle, I become more and more convinced that uh, the era of uh, big, heavy, super expensive motorcycles is uh, over. And uh, I'll explain to you why I'm saying this. What is a perfect motorcycle? A perfect motorcycle should be able to do everything that you want to do in, in your life. It should be good in, in the city, it should be good on the highway, it should be able to do uh, mild off-roading, it should give you a decent mileage, it should be in budget, it should look beautiful, right? I think Honda CB350 ticks all the boxes. I'm not saying that it's a perfect motorcycle, but it's almost perfect. Okay, almost perfect. In 2.5 lakh rupees, you are getting absolutely a wonderful deal, right? The riding experience is amazing. It gives you pleasure and joy, you know, the joy of riding a motorcycle. You don't feel as if you are riding a motorcycle. It feels like you are gliding, literally gliding in the air. There is absolutely no stress on the engine. And I also believe that this era, era of uh, adventure motorcycle is also going to get over pretty soon. And because guys, uh, adventure motorcycles, uh, most of the adventure motorcycles, I can say on the basis of my experience, uh, of owning uh, Royal Enfield Himalayan uh, adventure motorcycles uh, they may be good on the highway they may be good uh, in doing off-roading but uh, they they struggle in the city guys 90% of our riding happens in the city you're going to ride your motorcycle in the city most of the time because uh, you're, you're going to commute to office you're going to commute to uh, local places for your stuff so, a perfect motorcycle should be able to, uh, let me saddle here, because I can see too much off-roading here, okay, so, so a perfect motorcycle should be the one that, that does all the job, alright, and this is where adventure motorcycles struggle, they are also expensive, okay. But a classic motorcycle like this can do everything for you. So 
so why do you need to spend so much money on buying motorcycles about 6 lakh 7 lakh 10 lakh 15 lakh it does not make any sense unless you are super rich and you have too much money to spend so that was the main reason why i sold my motorcycles and uh, and now i'm going to stick with this one for a long time to come see look at the condition of this road it's in terrible condition and uh, see with 50 is having a nice time here We are at Chota Haridwar. Jai Gangamiya. The bike is literally gliding right now. I have not given any throttle. Okay. And it's just gliding, you know. <laughs> like it's on autopilot. Okay. So, uh, I've been to uh, Chopta once, uh, as I mentioned earlier, in 2020 but that was in the month of October and uh, the skies were absolutely clear at that time and uh, you know what I stayed uh, at a campsite in Chopta uh, the name of that campsite was wildlife Chopta wildlife camp resorts so uh, first time in my life I think uh, I was able to see from naked eye the Milky Way the beautiful Milky Way guys because you know uh, there is no light pollution in Chopta there is no electricity everything runs on solar power the only thing I'm worried about right now is uh, the black ice that uh, I am expected to encounter uh, on my way uh, to Chopta from Ukimat and uh, because you know black ice is, is dangerous I have previously uh, ridden Himalayan on black ice when I did my trip to Kufri last year in January and let me tell you it was scary it was really scary I fell multiple times uh, during a track uh, fortunately I did not uh, drop my bike once I was able to manage it because I was riding pretty slow uh, at the speed of 10 uh, on the black ice so but yeah I almost slipped multiple times and uh, yeah it's a scary experience uh, I hope to avoid uh, black eyes uh, as much as possible <laughs> so uh, just uh, taking a break for a while you know what you know what initially uh, uh, Initially, I thought, you know, that the sound of CB50 was uh, not that good as compared to Highness. But now, see, listen, 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 guys. This sound. Thug thug sound, you know. It has started to grow on me. I can feel the beats, you know. Uh, and it sounds beautifully, you know, at uh, 80 kmph. 80 to 90 okay at 100 the sound becomes flat and there you wish you had more you know grunt duck duck sound but right now it's a, it's a, it's, a, it's a wonderful music to my ears oh, what a joy what a joy to ride this motorcycle Absolutely, jam of a machine. In my opinion, Honda has made uh, the world's best uh, classic motorcycle in budget. Okay, uh, especially considering its price point. There are many uh, 350cc to 400 cc motorcycles in the market right now and they they might be good okay they might be great but not as good as Honda 350 when it comes to refinement 
Honda is known for its refinement in engines. And uh, as compared to my previous uh, trip, uh, friends, uh, I have more riding comfort right now because of uh, the Carbon Racing's uh, inclined uh, handlebar risers. As you can see, my handle is far more uh, closer to me. I am very relaxed. Oh, I cannot tell you how much fun I am having riding this motorcycle right now. Is it too good to be true? <laughs> Sometimes I wonder. <laughs> Have I found my perfect motorcycle that I was looking for? I'm close to saying yes. So anyone uh, out in the market looking for a classic retro looking motorcycle in 350 to 400cc segment. Uh, I would say you know look no further you can go for this blindly and uh, this motorcycle will not disappoint you it will give you the kind of pleasure of riding a motorcycle that you want without any problems without any issues you know what I can do I can do Teddy to go on this motorcycle non-stop and this engine is so refined you know, it gives you confidence to do long trips. I've already done my trip to Manali on this motorcycle. And uh, uh, it was only after riding 500 kilometers after my first service. Because I had confidence in Honda's reliability. Based on my experience uh, of riding uh, and owning a Honda Highness. Cruising at 100 kmph right now. Absolutely stable. Wow. You know, I like riding in February. The weather is so pleasant now. Air is clear. There is no fog. Uh, it's cold but not that cold. You know, you feel good.
Okay. Uh, so I saw this beautiful location uh, along the canal. So I flew my drone over here. And I think uh, we have got some nice footage. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, now I have restarted my journey. I stayed here for uh, I think uh, 15 to 20 minutes and uh, I met this local, this guy, Samir, his name is Samir. Okay Samir, bye. <laughs> so I had a chit chat with him, he's a local guy, lives in a, in a nearby village and uh, he subscribed to my channel. So nice to meet you know people along the way making friends and that's only possible when you travel okay so friends uh, let me show you an important feature of uh, Honda 350 uh, can you see the meter console all right and there are two fuel bars that are visible right now okay and uh, the range you know the range it's showing right now is 188 kilometers see and uh, currently it's giving me an average of okay it's fluctuating right now 41.6 40.3 okay and overall it has uh, the bike has so far given me an average of 31.3 kilometers so this bike has uh, been ridden for 3128 kilometers so far 3128 and uh, it has given me 31.3 kilometers of average so far it's 11 11 make a wish <laughs> this looks beautiful Wow. Okay, cruising at 110 kmph. Easily. Wow. 115. Hundred and twenty. Beautiful man, beautiful. What a view, man, what a view. Oh look at these uh, lush green fields. Looking awesome. Okay, so friends, uh, we have reached uh, Haidwar and I'm pleased to tell you that <laughs> we have reached uh, Haidwar in less than 4 hours. So I started my journey at 8.15 8 from my home, right? And right now it's uh, 11.55. So that means 3 hours 40 minutes. That's it. Gaziabad to Haidwar in 3 hours 40 minutes. Pretty good speed, huh? And uh, Ishikesh is quite near, so half an hour more. So, in four and a half hours, we will reach Ishikesh. That's incredible. I like this. Jai Ganga Mia, Jai Ganga Mia. Welcome to Harki Pori. And uh, right now time is uh, 12.05. So guys, uh, in exactly uh, 
थ्री आवर्स फिफ्टी मिनट्स वी हैव रीच हार की पोड़ी फ्राम गाज़ियाबाद एंड दिस इंक्लूड्स ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव मिनट्स ऑफ ब्रेक दैट आई टुक टू फ्लाई माई ड्रोन प्रिटी इम्प्रेसिव प्रिटी प्रिटी गुड प्रिटी गुड एंड यू नो आई एम नॉट टायर्ड एट ऑल आई थिंक आई कैन राइड फॉर मोर आवर्स आई कैन राइड दिस मोटरसाइकिल ऑल डे एक्चुअली For now, enjoy the views. <sighs> Mountains are visible now. So this is the first time uh, my CB350 has come to Uttarakhand. Swagat nahi karoge hamara. Now this is a beautiful road. Both uh, my right and left hand side, you know, guys, you can see the Rajaji Tiger Reserve. Uh, it's the buffer zone of Rajaji Tiger Reserve, right? And that's why you can see how lush green it is. Ah, this is why I love riding. <laughs> this is why I ride, guys. <laughs> Seriously. This is the kind of feeling which cannot be explained. Wow. I think we have reached Rishikesh. So, from Ghaziabad to Rishikesh in 4.5 hours. That means 4 hours 30 minutes. Not bad. <laughs> right now it's 12:46. <coughs> I started at 8:15 from Gatiawat. So you know this is what CB350 is capable of. It keeps on munching miles, and before you realize, you reach your destination. <laughs> like I have reached the destination just four four hours thirty minutes. That's what I love about this motorcycle. <laughs> 